Namaste. I use that greeting from India because this video is all about a pair of theorems proposed by Augustus de Morgan, who was born in India in 1806. This is the last set of rules we'll cover related to Boolean algebra. Here are de Morgan's theorems. It looks like a lot of information at first glance, but these equations express just one idea. When multiple literals as a unit are being complemented, we can apply the complement to each literal individually if we change the operation between them. Theorem A shows the case where the multiple variables are being ORed. Theorem B shows the multiple variables being ANDed. The two equations in each box are identical. They simply use the alternative notations for complementing, apostrophe up top, overbar down below. So in theorem A, we see two literals, x and y, that are being ORed first, and then that result gets complemented. The parentheses make sure we do it in this order. That logic is identical to complementing each literal individually first, and then ANDing later. If we write this with overbars, Note that a long overbar covering both literals means the same thing as a prime outside the parentheses. Here we OR first, not later. Theorem B looks very similar. Here we AND first, then not later, in either notation. This expression is identical to NOT first, then OR later. Notice how the general principle applies. If we see a complement applied to multiple literals as a unit, it is equal to the case of complementing each literal and then changing the operator. AND becomes OR, or OR becomes AND. You may find it easier to see using the overbar notation. Here we can break the bar and change the operator. By breaking the bar, I mean complementing each literal individually. Look at this expression. Could we apply de Morgan's theorem to simplify it? It is tempting to say yes because we see parentheses and primes, but the answer is no. De Morgan's theorem can only simplify if we see the prime applied outside the parentheses, or in other words, being applied to multiple literals as a unit. Here, the prime is only ever used with an individual literal. It would be possible to apply de Morgan's theorem in reverse. For example, a prime b prime can be converted to a or b in parentheses prime. However, this is not considered simplifying in terms of algebra. We can take advantage of this conversion with logic gates, but that is for a different discussion. Let's look at our first simplification example using de Morgan's theorems. Here we notice a prime outside the parentheses. Even though there are three literals, the same principle holds. We will apply the prime to each literal individually and change the operator. So a prime becomes a prime prime, b becomes b prime, and c becomes c prime. All of the or operators become ands. Now we continue simplifying with any available rules. a prime prime equals a through rule 9. And then rule 10 allows us to drop off this term leaving us with the final result of just a. Note that we only applied de Morgan's theorem one time in this example. All later steps were other rules. Now for a second, slightly more complicated example. We will apply de Morgan's theorems two separate times, once on each side of this plus sign. On the left, we bring down the prime to each literal inside the parentheses, and we switch out all the ors for ands. On the right side, a prime becomes a prime prime, b prime becomes b prime prime, the and operator becomes an or. We are done with de Morgan's theorems now. This next line simplifies by eliminating all the double primes, and then we apply rule 10 to eliminate this term, resulting in the simplified expression a or b. Occasionally, you may run into a situation like this expression which features both AND and OR with a set of parentheses that is then being complemented. My recommendation here is to do this one step at a time. 
taking care of the OR operator first, then the AND operator last. In this first line, I consider X as its own unit and Y prime Z as a separate unit. So when I bring down the prime, X becomes X prime, and Y prime Z as a unit gets complemented. Also, the OR becomes an AND. Now I apply De Morgan's theorem again to this Y prime Z term. Bring down the prime and change the AND operator to OR. For the final step, I simply distributed the X prime. One word of advice. It is common to write the AND operation implicitly by placing variables near each other without the middle dot. I do not recommend doing this when working with De Morgan's theorems. By explicitly writing the middle dot, it makes it easier to see that there's an operator there that needs to be switched to a plus sign. In my experience teaching this course, one of the most common mistakes I see is students forgetting to change the operator. The left side of this equation does not equal the right side. The left side indicates that we AND first, not later. The right side indicates that we not each variable first, then AND afterward. In fact, what would this left side equal? Well, taken directly from De Morgan's theorems, this equals X prime or Y prime. Clearly, that is not the same as X prime and Y prime. Take some time to carefully work the follow along problems. It is very easy to make a mistake by leaving off a prime or not switching an operator, so pay attention on each step.